spoilage. Uh, value added product, uh, it's another uh, investment uh, sector because you look at the, especially from the horticultural pro products, you need now to, let's say you, 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 you process or you prepare or you chop and dice. If you want to go that route, now you'll have to have a, a, a new structure which will be certified for you to do that. Uh, so it, it becomes a, 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 a chicken and, a, and, and an egg situation that what comes first? Do we put up the structures without the produce? And once you put the structure, the structure will just tell you that it needs serious uh, produce to get in there. So you will need farmers to just produce for these value-added crops, not as a, by the way, let's salvage what uh, has been, or what was due to be spoiled. So once you put up these structures, now you'll need farmers that will just say we are producing to supply that value addition uh, uh, enterprise. So those are the things that need to be worked on. Uh, as for us at Nambot, we have, we've tried to, to salvage because at least we are aggregating so we have made a, a cut and dice section. Uh, it's, it's working, but the orders are picking up. And now you will find that there's always a debate between our existing customers as fresh produce or the cut and dice uh, value added produce. But just setting up the, 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 the room or the, the structure where you will do all this value addition, it's, it, it's quite expensive. So for farmers, I think it will need a, a ministerial intervention. Either the Minister of Agriculture would put up those structures where they will work on. So that is my, uh, my take on this matter. All right. Um, I think that's a comment. No comment from Iswet. Okay. I, I think basically um, we, we what we're saying to Wanele is a lot of work is being done on the ground to assist farmers. Uh, the aggregating and clustering of, of uh, producers is very important to meet these volumes. And also ownership of the business idea by, by farmers, not just um, being excited for a season uh, because there's a lot of capital investment that is needed. But information is readily available within these uh, agencies with ourselves, uh, a certain investment promotion authority, with uh, ESUAID, with the NAM board um, and other agencies that are responsible for trade promotion and support. We also share this information with uh, uh, the business institutions such, such as your business association, First Big, Commercial Amatota and other institutions that we work closely with depending on, on the market and sector in which they operate. So um, it's just to encourage uh, uh, Guanele and any other persons who are in business that they should regularly uh, consult with ourselves and these other agencies for the information. Thank you very much, Mary. I'll hand over to you uh, as you continue. Um, are, are there any questions from this side? Thank you so much for the answer and thank you to our colleague from Nambod. Um, yeah, if, if there's any other questions before we close. Yes, there is one question coming through. It's more of a correction from my side um, on some information on page 10 of the toolkit. Um, it's talking about the VAT section. It's talking about a rate of 14% on importation of goods. And um, I think it's 15 now. I'm not sure when we, when we uh, published this, but for 2020, can we please correct that just so we can have the correct information thing. Okay, um, we'll have to get back to the USA Trade Hub on that. Um, I think at the time it was, when we were putting it together, it was 14% and then it changed when, as we 
worked on it. So it is an error from our side. Um, but I think I think for the rest of the uh, participants today, just take note of that. Thank you for bringing that to our attention. Is there anything else? Yes, there is one other question. Can we have the microphone? Uh, thank you, uh, Mr. Moderate. Uh, for this is uh, for me. This is not a a, a question. It, it's just a a, a a a vote of thanks for for this tool. I I think uh, this is a very good tool. As as as, as a practitioner who's in the uh, the marketing uh, promotion uh, sector, I think as organizations we get a lot of questioning on somebody wants to maybe our uh, our finances ask us someone wants to start a business they are interested in financing what are the bottlenecks of and from my previous experience as, as a country you find that your your answer is based on your personal experience uh, and something that you gather around as you do your job so I would uh, I would really would love to have a, a similar thing, but for 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 our country as Watini and or other other countries which you are working with, maybe that's a that, that's a bond for them to chew. But if at least have the, the 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 official requirements for each and every sector, and uh, for me this would be a a good bible for. For the for the practice practitioners in in export because for now we are having different views on how export goes and you find that you don't have the whole range of of the products which you can advise so we are fortunate that we we have uh, our 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 moderator is in the good space to lead this so for me I beseech uh, the house to really replicate this if we don't already have it, but this is such a good tool. Thank you, man. Thank you for the comments. I'm not sure if uh, the USA Trade Hub would um, be involved in this a lot more because they are closing the project in September, but I think Tammy can advise from there and I mean, a request can be put forward to him um, and obviously um, working with the different organizations at um, within Espatini as well. Mr. Nchungasi, I'm not sure if you would want to comment on this. Um, yeah, I, I, I don't know. I thought, thought maybe you were asking for the trade hub, but our our involvement or rather our availability for, for these projects and to assist um, is, is, is that we always available. Um, the information we consolidate, we share. Uh, we coordinate where we need to coordinate. Um, I, I think, as as uh, the colleague has said, the regional cross border toolkit is a very good tool, uh, which we intend to further disseminate and share with our clients and try to unpack it further. I think it's it is well structured uh, the way uh, it is. But let me hand over to Tammy. Um, maybe wants to say something. Uh, thank you. Not much. Uh, I think uh, what can happen is we, we would need to get direction from our trade promotion partners. Uh, at this stage, the toolkit is here, and the only things that probably would be more contextual would be who in the government, for example, in the Ministry of Agriculture, who does the phytosanitary requirements, who does the inspections before um, you are given uh, a certificate of origin, uh, and that probably we can get guidance from uh, APA because that's part of then rolling out this to the end uh, users and making sure that those involved in export promotion are well equipped to support exporters and make the life of exporters easier than uh, it, it is currently. All right. No, no thank, thanks. Thanks, Tan. Uh, I, I think in engaging the, the different stakeholders and those who are involved in the 
processes for, for, for the different certifications and uh, um, um, permits, we can assist, we can definitely assist. Uh, the information is uh, readily available almost to everyone. Earlier on, I mentioned the uh, certain uh, um, uh, trade information portal. Uh, that information can be accessed even from there. Uh, the different departments are responsible for uh, PSP issues and, and other uh, components. But again, we um, as a partner, IPA is available uh, to, to open the doors for you uh, in, within government or any other um, relevant uh, offices or stakeholders. Are there any other questions or any other comments? Uh, Mary, maybe just one. Uh, I'm not sure if we're going to, if you had planned to do the frequently asked questions, but uh, I think the most common question is what, uh, what issues are usually faced by exporters that probably would result in commodities being stopped, destroyed, or um, transactions not going through as initially uh, Blend. I Just think a few points. Yeah, I, I think uh, the main thing is the documentation part because, you know, a, a lot of organizations work on documents and so does customs. I mean, the main thing about it, every single shipment is the documents that you need and the, having the relevant documents and certifications. So if you don't have the relevant certifications from the export side, or you don't have the relevant import permits, um, these delay shipments, um, they create a lot of problems. Um, yes, a lot of these shipments are stopped and some get to the point of being destroyed. But ultimately, and, and that's why we actually started the um, Regional Cross uh, Trade Toolkit, is so that you know in advance that you do need to be aware of certain things. If you are exporting agriculture, make sure that you are checking with the Department of Agriculture on whether or not you need a phytosanitary certificate for exports. Um, there are general documents that's needed, um, your, your uh, commercial invoice, your packing list, and your transport label. Over and above that, you do need certain certifications, and those are the, become the problems. Uh, that's where your shipments get stopped. Um, so whenever there's... Um, specific cargoes that would be stopped. So whether it's dangerous cargo or if it's cargo that need to be packed in a certain way, um, you need to be aware of right at the beginning. And that's where SMEs need to start looking for advice, contacting, um, you know, uh, different organizations like IPA, um, like NAMBOARD, and asking them, you know, what they need to do. Um, because that's the only way it's getting that knowledge right at the beginning to avoid these problems and having that relationship with these organizations with the uh, TPSPs that uh, you know we have partnered with from the USA trade hub side because these are the people that actually know uh, what happens locally as well and that can help SMEs. Just just one point of um, maybe a question on the assignment. Um, we do the assignment as individuals, not in groups. Also, and I'm I'm thinking about the presentation tomorrow. When we're doing presentation, each one is going to make his or her own presentation or how it's going to be structured. If you are from the same organization and you would like to do it as a group, you're welcome to do that. Um, I know it is. Uh, we do not have a lot of time for you to work on it. So it's really up to you whether you want to work on it as an organization with a few people together or one or two people together at a time. That's fine with me. Um, as long as you know you can show that you've used the toolkit and you know how to use it really. Um, for me, that's the most important part. Even if you don't do a PowerPoint, but you got the answers that you need and you know where to find it. All right. Thank you very much. Um, I think on our side, in terms of questions, we we almost look like we're done with the questions, Mary. Um, I will hand over to you to do your your closing on for this session. 
Okay, firstly, thank you to everyone for attending. Um, and I hope the sessions have been useful and I hope the Regional Cross-Border Trade Toolkit will be a useful tool for you, your organization and the SMEs. Um, you know, we've put in a lot of work to simplify things as much as possible. Uh, we haven't covered everything and we are aware of that, uh, but obviously we wanted to answer questions that's important to people who are new to exporting. And there's a lot of questions that you can answer locally. So internationally, we, I, I was personally looking at what can we answer for you um, and what can we answer for the exporters. So thank you for taking the time uh, for partnering with the USA Trade Hub on this. Um, and I hope you, know, you enjoy the assignment and I'm really looking forward to um, you know, watching your presentations tomorrow. Um, we've completed with Malawi, we've completed Namibia, and you know it's very interesting that you know some people may actually choose the same product and come from totally different angles and look at different things on exporting. Um, and so what we've learned from that is that you know you can teach each other, you can help each other locally. Um, so we've provided the tool, but you know. For it to be actually work, it takes a lot of uh, working together uh, locally, you know, as exporters and different organizations. Um, so thank you, and I'm looking forward to seeing you all tomorrow. All right, uh, thanks very much, Mary. A round of applause for Mary, please. Thank you, thank you, we'll see you tomorrow. Well, colleagues, um, we've um, come to the end of uh, today's session, but just in terms of closing, um, on the issue of the assignment, um, I know we've got a couple of colleagues from EPA, and uh, I probably would want them to split and join some, so that maybe we work in pairs. I don't know. How, 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 what, what, what's your thoughts? Um, or you'd want to work on them individually? Um, there's also the issue of time, which we do not have. We only got after lunch today. So is the facilities available for us after lunch for those who want to use it? You're not sure. Okay. Yeah, all right. Okay. Are we all willing to do it individually? Because I don't want to force, because it's, you can do it in the, as an individual from home that must be, or from your office, it's a much easier approach as well from you, or you'd want to partner with someone. Yes. All right. Okay. All right, that's that's fine. So we've got Tandega who's willing to partner. If there's anyone else who wants to partner, may partner with Tandega. Uh, may I take it that the rest of us will do it as individuals? Those who are joining us online, um, we would love to partner with you, but unfortunately, space uh, doesn't allow us. So um, ladies and gentlemen, thank you very much. There's an evaluation form which has been sent to you through via email. Please take your time and fill up that evaluation form. Um, whilst if it's still fresh, we would appreciate. We'll get a, another one for tomorrow, which is different from today's evaluation. So please do that. Uh, to the team at um, US Trade Up, to Miss Mary, thank you very much to all our participants who are joining us online. Thank you, thank you. You have been a wonderful audience and thank you for the questions and everything. I see Figile, you're sharing your, your contact details there. We'll, we'll definitely be in touch. We'll share more contact details, uh, I think, tomorrow when we're closing our sessions. Um, and through our emails, US Trade Up emails have been coming through to the different participants. So please uh, make time and do the assignment. God bless you. May I call this session to a uh, close. Thank you very much. Thank you, Uh To our participants who are online,
please just drop your name, organization, and email address on the chat box. Uh, we, we will need that for registration and for certification. So it's your name, organization, and email address. Thank you. All right, uh, thank you very much. Thank you. We'll see you tomorrow. We're starting at uh, 9 a.m. Half past eight, we're doing the registration. Thank you.